Well, what's up, y'all? I'm Dusty. This is Fox Holler and Homestead. And today, I want to concentrate on something that's pretty cool. Now, as uh, a couple of videos ago, I started talking. I mean, I, t I went into the greenhouse for the first time, showed you guys a little bit about the greenhouse and what I was growing in there as far as tomatoes. Uh, especially wanted to concentrate on um, my grandpa's apple tree. Now, I've had some ups and downs when it comes to hardwood cuttings and uh, I'd like to go into that with you. So let's do that. Um, when it concerns hardwood cuttings compared to softwood cuttings. Now, again, I am not, I am not the know-it-all. I'm not even close to the half know-it-all in consideration to hardwood or softwood cuttings. I do what I do to make it work and it's through trial and tribulations. I've lost a lot of cuttings in all different kinds of plants because something didn't work right or I didn't do it right or you know whatever it just wasn't meant to be and um, there is some that I have actually had work out pretty well and uh, when it comes to hardwood cuttings I have tried is to get as much information as I could possibly get um, because it's going to be a little bit more difficult for you to uh, propagate a hardwood rather than let's say let's say like uh, a uh, jade plant where you would take the succulent you could actually just put it cuttings in water and within you know a week or two it roots and call it good put it in the ground and you got a plant now with in concerns to the apple tree uh, my grandpa's apple tree if you've ever seen apple trees and how they grow now typically during the winter time you get a lot of sprouts off the top big tall really tall sprouts now if you trim up or you keep your uh, um, your apple tree manicured as far as the canopy you want to cut all those down to keep the canopy low so that the tree grows outwards instead of upwards doesn't become too compact that way you yield better fruit more fruit now uh, typically we would do that every year um, but obviously grandpa's apple tree was coming down so we didn't actually do that but I did I actually took quite a few cuttings and I've gone through ups and downs and around and around as far as trying to figure out what works. Now, one of the things that I've uh, tried is a peat moss sand mixture. And um, what you do is you take the peat moss and the sand, can't remember what the ratios are, um, mix them all up and uh, you wanna um, put the cutting into a humidor. Now, what I used was like um, a water bottle like this and uh, <clears throat> I took the soil itself, put it into the water bottle itself, put the top onto it, called it good. Now, as far as putting the cutting in, um, there's a lot of times people say use rooting powder. You don't use rooting powder because it doesn't work on hardwoods. I mean, I've heard so many different things. And again, this is what works for you. Now, I'm not saying that what I'm about to tell you is going to work for you but it worked for me um that part that i just showed you as far as using uh peat moss and sand and taking the cutting directly putting in in root powder putting in the soil and putting the top over top of it so it's a humidor it worked slightly now what they say is as soon as it starts to flower as soon as the leaves start to come out then you take the top off and you keep it in a somewhat uh room temperature decent temperature room uh, typically inside your house and wait until it roots fully it starts to uh, gain life and then from that point you can plant it in the soil um, again this didn't work it worked for a very slight amount of time and then they eventually died off now you can see these ones right here are doing really well this one is kind of doing okay not really but these two are doing awesome very very awesome I got all this uh, moss from the trees. We are in the Pacific Northwest. What that does is it retains the moisture in the soil, um, keeps the plant or the cutting somewhat uh, warm or at an even temperature rather than getting too cold. That again was trial and tribulation. Didn't start off doing that. But uh, one thing that I have found out that worked for me was, uh, and I've been told many times to not do this now many quite a few people have told me it won't work because it's a hardwood cutting do not put your hardwood cuttings directly just into water it's not going to work well 
those three that I just showed you are from directly from water. Now, how I do this is, as you can see, the cuttings are here. Now, I just did these today. These cuttings are actually two. So, as you can see, it's about a 15 inch cutting and I'll cut them in half, put the butt end in there, the butt end in there, and uh, now before, I didn't put a top over, over it. Um, I just let them sit like that, but they were inside, and um, it actually worked pretty well. A couple of them, they started to sprout, didn't work out too long after that, and then three that you see were the ones that actually did. Um, now, Another thing that I've looked into and I'm gonna try is putting the top over top of it. So, just like that. And uh, what that does is it retains the moisture in the cutting and uh, um, keeps them, the tops from drying out. And then once they start to sprout, you'll see, you can pull the cutting out. You'll see the little white nodules. Sometimes they'll grow roots on the bottom. And from that point, you can plant them in a dirt or a soil or, you know, whatever it is you choose. Again, I am not the gardening master. I'm not the hardwood cutting master. I'm just trying to do and share what's worked for me. Now, as far as getting these cuttings, when you do an apple tree uh, or any hardwood for that matter, you wanna specifically cut them in the winter time. Now you can cut a bunch of them. Doesn't mean that you have to do them all at once. What you do is you wet them all down, roll them up, wet them all down, um, ran, wrap saran wrap around them, put them in a bag so that the water doesn't evaporate or evaporate and then you can put them in the fridge for quite some time they will actually hold for quite some time and then once you're ready to um, start to sprout them you can pull them pull a couple out or whatever which is what I've been doing and do what I just showed you now as far as planting them um, these three I took a, uh, um, a potting soil now nothing special but uh, after they had started to grow the white nodules, I took potting soil, um, drilled a hole in there, or didn't drill a hole in there, but um, put it in rooting powder, which I don't know if this is the best. Again, I'm not, I'm not saying that you need to use that rooting powder. I'm just saying that that's, that's what I used. Um, and it's, it's been working so far. So I don't know if there's something better out there. Experiment, try what works for you. And I uh, put a little bit on the end of the stick and plopped it down in the dirt. Now, there's probably, I would say, out of an eight inch cutting, there's probably about five and a half inches under the ground. And uh, again, don't do that until the leaves start coming out and the roots, the little, you'll see little white dots on there. Those are where the roots are coming out. Now, <clears throat> again, I am not the master at this. I'm only doing what, uh, what's working for me. And this is about, man, this is, I've gone through so many cuttings. I still have quite a few. I, I pulled a lot off of the tree because I knew the tree was coming down. And uh, the three that are rooting right now, it's just, I, I get so excited. I come home from work and um, man, I get so excited to come home and talk to them. And sometimes I'll pull my truck up and play music for them for the whole greenhouse. And, uh, but uh, so, so let's uh, check out some other stuff real fast. The tomatoes are doing awesome. Really, really cool. All the peppers. Now, one of the other things that I've been doing is uh, willow trees. And again, this is a hardwood cutting. Pull them off the same time of the year uh, during the winter time and you can put them in water and, and willows are pretty darn resilient in consideration to sprouting or growing virtually anywhere. Now, like I said, I did the same thing, put them in the jar of water, and then uh, when it comes to them finally rooting, put a little bit in, and uh, I have actually tried both ways. A couple of them I did not use rooting powder, some of them I did use rooting powder, and uh, this one's really my favorite so far. And you can actually see there's little nodes that's starting to sprout. Very exciting, it's just got a really cool shape to it. Here's three other ones doing really good. Just planted the jades. And all of these over here, these are all willows. That's a willow, all doing very good. 
There's a couple of them that don't have rooting powder, like I said. Some of them do have rooting powder. Um, these three are peaches, and these ones are lemons. Now, <clears throat> I'll probably go into that in another video. That's a whole new process, doing peach seeds and lemon seeds. Um, but uh, yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. I really hope you guys like that. Hopefully you learned something. Please hit the like button. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get back to talking to my plants and my trees and the apple trees. And uh, until next time, I'm Dusty. This is Fox Holler Homestead. Got nothing but love for each and every one of you guys out there. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.